Ahmed, welcome to Capacity TV. What will the launch of the GBI cable mean for network diversity in the Middle East? This uh, event is uh, not only important for us as Gulf Bridge International, it's important for the whole region, uh, providing uh, such kind of uh, critical infrastructure, importing, very important for the region, connecting all the Gulf countries to each other with uh, one network, latest technology, and bringing uh, uh, high-speed connectivity from the world to the Gulf. Uh, we have an east route all the way to India, Mumbai, and west route all the way to Sicily, Italy, extending this network to the main business hubs in Europe. Uh, this is very important for our uh, region and uh, it's important uh, to work as a catalyst for the development and all the other business sectors. What is driving demand for capacity in the Gulf? There are uh, different areas uh, uh, adding more to uh, the demand the growth of uh, our region. Uh, uh, to be more specific and highlighting the most important areas, uh, the competition which is being supported and more enabled by uh, the uh, deregulation uh, in the different countries in the region. We see a great progress uh, on that. It's, it's a different stage from country to country, but it's a trend that is going to continue and it will increase because the competition uh, will be more and more in our region. Another area is the government support in, uh, in the region, uh, supporting other areas of business, not only the hydrocarbon and uh, now in the financial uh, sector, education, different uh, sectors which will add more uh, to the requirements for uh, international connectivity and bandwidth. Another area also, uh, it's important adding a lot for uh, the uh, flavor and the demand of the capacity, the young uh, population and the need for uh, more capacity hungry applications uh, that uh, they are uh, using it uh, day by day and increasing uh, the demand for international connectivity. In terms of regions, where does GBI see most traffic going from the Middle East into? What we expect uh, in the coming years, a change of this pattern, uh, more alignment and more balance between the traffic going eastward against the traffic uh, uh, going westward. Uh, addressing uh, important uh, uh, markets uh, in Asia and also Africa. We need, we need to also consider that as well. And uh, the growing uh, population in uh, this market. Does GBI expect to expand its capacity on its network in the coming years? We have plans uh, for our future expansion in both directions, horizontal and vertical. Horizontally expanding the reach of our network extending it, for example, eastward after India. Currently, we land in Bombay, India, and we are considering expansion more eastward to Singapore or Hong Kong. The African market, specifically East Africa. Expanding the network in Europe for a completely different reason, for diversity and addressing the important business markets there, it's done. We completed that in, uh, as extension of the first phase of uh, the network. Vertically, adding more products and uh, services uh, to the well-established infrastructure uh, is one of the areas we are considering now and we are evaluating the different options for providing different kinds of products on this very uh, uh, strong uh, uh, infrastructure ready to carry all of this. Ahmed, thanks for your time. Thank you.